Yo, what's going down everybody? It is straight out of Boston here, aka the King of Boston, and today we are back for episode 30 of the New England Patriots Connected franchise. I believe this is episode 30. I've been getting a lot of the episode numbers wrong in my videos lately, but um, yes, this series has been gone for a while now, like a week, but that's like a long time for me. I usually um, try to post these things more often. I'm going to try and push these videos out a little bit more, um, but either way, we're going to begin to the San Francisco 49ers this week, a very talented team. Um, the 49ers, one of the best organizations in football still with guys like Colin Kaepernick, Navarro Bowman, Patrick Willis, Eric Reed, who I'm a big fan of personally. Um, they have this beast pass rusher like Reed Lokovic. They have, a, I believe, a rookie running back. And Tay, I'm just going to call him like Tav or Taz uh, Doolittle because his first name is kind of hard to pronounce. Um, you can see we were going to be missing Rob Dinkovich and A.J. Jefferson once again this week. For the 49ers, Ray McDonald, um, among others, Anthony Davis. A couple of big-name players that they're going to be missing. So both teams suffering a little bit on injuries. But either way, we are ready for Week 7 to get underway from Levi Stadium, the brand-new 49ers stadium in Santa Clara. In New England, winning is the way. From Mr. Kraft saving the team. To Tom Terrific making it an icon. To do it Bill's way. These are the Patriots. In San Francisco, gold is more than a color. It's a standard. It's the brilliant chemistry of Walsh and Montana. To Steve Young ripping the monkey off his back. To chase Jerry up that hill. These are the 49ers. And here we are. This was... Probably one of the coolest things about uh, Madden this year, and I didn't even know about it, but um, many of you guys know Candlestick Park or Candlestick Stadium, whatever you want to call it, is uh, going, and I guess not going out of the business would be the wrong word, but uh, the 49ers are moving into a new stadium in Santa Clara, Levi Stadium, um, and the game actually reflects that, so this is not in Candlestick this is in the new Levi Stadium in Santa Clara, so it's pretty cool. But either way, we have a big game to play, a big primetime Sunday night game, and we could use a win 3-3, three and 1-0 three, in the Nick Foles era for the New England Patriots, looking to make that 2-0 and oh, and try to run off some games here and try to go on a hot streak with our new quarterback and our new offense. But our defense is not pulling its weight. Do a little to the right side. This is the running back with the crazy name I can't pronounce. It's like Tizavius or Tavavion, I don't know, something. But Kaepernick, end zone, touchdown. Vernon Davis is there in the back of the end zone. Kyle Arrington could not keep up with them, and Davis is in for the score. So it's 7-0 early on, Giants on top, 6-28 to play in the first. There is Eric Decker over the middle, getting across the 40-yard line for a first down. And now second and 11 from the 40, Nick Foles dropping back, looking over the middle, caught by Julius Thomas on the crossing route, picks up a first down, gets across the 50 to the 48-yard line. Now from the 48, it's actually going to be third and inches. We're going to look short, though. Thomas breaking a tackle. He's had a great start to the day so far. Couple of catches, a big first down, and the drive is alive. They're from the 39 yard line, Ross Borky now on a crossing route, picking up a nice nine yard chunk. Now, third and one, we're going to go back to the running game. And this is something I've struggled to do in recent weeks, and I want to get back to doing more of is running the ball and running the ball effectively. I'm finding that I'm only giving my guys 10 or 15 carries, and I really want to be multiple on offense despite having this really potent passing game now with Nick Foles at quarterback. I don't want to get away from running the ball with Garrett Blunt, who led the NFL in rushing last year. So Blunt gets into the end zone there for the touchdown, and we tied this ball game up at 7 after the ensuing PAT. So we answer right back, but 135 to play in the first half, or in the first quarter, I should say, and we're looking for our defense to respond, try to get a stop, try to do something, force a turnover, anything. Doolittle's running right all over them right now, and he's going up the middle once again, picking up a first down, breaking tackles to the 45-yard line. Now second and eight, Kaepernick dropping back, looking over the middle. That's going to be caught hard hit right there, but I believe that is Douglas Cousins making the grab. He is either a rookie or a second-year guy. And now Doolittle to the left side, gets through the defense. Jamie Collins chases him down, but Doolittle, another big run out third and goal from the one. It's going to be Marcus Lattimore getting the carry on the goal line up the middle and into the end zone for the score. So Marcus Lattimore, the man who suffered... Quite the knee injury when he was at South Carolina. Missed all of 2013. Um, he was drafted by the Giants, but he sat out the year. Looking to play in 2014, we'll see if he does. But either way, we get the ball back. Trying to answer once again. Make up for our defensive lapses so far. From, or, uh, from the 49-yard line, third and six. We complete the first down. 
That's going to make it first and 10 from the 36 now. And it's going to be Jordy Nelson picking up the grab. We haven't heard a lot of him today, but he is still having quite the season. We'll look to uh, go back to him as we do right here. So that's the second grab of the day. Two catches on two plays. Now second and two fulls. Looking on the screenplay, it's going to be LeGarrette Blunt. Picks up a block to the outside. Dives for the pylon, and he is in. Touchdown, LeGarrette Blunt. His second of the day, first receiving. The first one came rushing the ball, so that's going to make it 14-14. to Offensive game so far, 14-14 to is the score, 3-2 to play. We force a punt away, we get the ball back from the 35-yard line. That's going to be a 7-yard pickup to Shady Monroe, his first grab of the day. Now first and 10 from the 49 across the middle, it's going to be Jordy Nelson. And you can see Nelson ran wide there, waiting for the block from Blunt. Came a little bit late, Nelson still had to break the tackle, but he picks up nice yardage anyway. Third and three, we're going to hit. Shady Monroe once again second or his second grab of the day now from the at the two minute warning we're gonna look to Nelson deep over the middle 25 yard pickup now inside of the five inside of the two up the middle Garrett Blunt is in and we take our first lead of the day making it 21 to 14 Blunt's third score already and this offense seems unstoppable at this point putting up I believe 59 points last weekend against the Colts and 21 already on the first half against one of the best defenses in football Colin Kaepernick though is gonna try and get his team back in the game Michael Crabtree gets leveled by a keep to leave right there but hangs on makes the grab second to one Kaepernick looking deep and that's gonna be caught by Vernon Davis I was hoping Logan Ryan would come back and make a play on the ball but he did not Davis was wide open now Kaepernick from the 39 yard line scrambling to the left side picks up a first down and some more getting to about the uh, 25 but after a sack it's third and 18 from the 34 over the middle caught by Vernon Davis he hangs on but that would be short of a first down marker so they settle for a field goal and that's going to make it 21 to 17 so the Patriots have a four point lead at the half a rare halftime lead it seems like we've been playing from behind all season long so this is a, uh, a good sign for the Patriots 21 to 17 but Still have a half of football to play. 49ers have the ball, 921 to play in the third. Kaepernick looking deep, and it's intercepted. Logan Ryan, who coming off of a record-setting year last season, has not been quite the playmaker that he has been, or he has not been the, quite the playmaker this season that he was last year, but he still picks up his 20th career NFL interception on that play. This is just season two for him, so uh, obviously quite the accomplishment, getting 20 interceptions just a season and a half, but... Ryan looking to uh, have him have a big second half of the year as we do approach about the midway point of the season. But that was a bad choice right there. Eric Reed, who is one of my favorite young players in the NFL. I think Eric Reed is insane. I think he's going to be so good um, personally, but I'm not exactly an NFL talent evaluator. I just like what I've seen from him. He makes an inter a, a great play on the ball. I tried to fit that one in a tight window, and it did not work out. So after forcing a punt away, and we're just going to give it right back. Carlos Rogers makes the interception. That was a dumb play. I thought Shady Monroe was running a curl route right there and not an in route. So that was my fault. It was just bad awareness. And uh, if I had known he was running the route that he did, I wouldn't have thrown it. So either way, Kaepernick now in the screenplay is going to hit Doolittle. He's got wide open field, and he's going to get into the end zone for the score. And the 49ers retake the lead 24-21 to after the ensuing PAT. And now we're going to have to fight from behind once again. So 11-22 to play now in the fourth. Kaepernick with the ball with the Giants third and five, and he throws it in a tight coverage, and it's intercepted. Logan Ryan again gets his second interception of the day, his uh, 21st of his career now, and first and ten from the 39-yard line. Foles takes a deep drop back, no one open, and he gets sacked. Actually, it looks like I had one of my running backs open on the right side, but would have been a tight window, and already with a couple turnovers today, probably wouldn't have wanted to force it. Third and 15. Incomplete. We're going to have to punt it away. So uh, 49ers get the ball back. And they're looking to drive. Go up potentially by two scores. Run some time off the clock as well. Hand off to do little to the right side. Wide or not wide open. But open space. Open field for days. And he's going to pick up a huge a huge gain. 184 yards for do little already. Just quite the day out of the young running back. Really tearing up this Patriots run defense. Now third and 11 from 31. Kaepernick looking deep. And it's going to be caught by Vernon Davis. Who picks up about 26 yards or so. And now first and or uh, third and goal from the one and up to the fullback he's in for the score and that is going to make it 31 to 21 so not only do the uh, 49ers add on another seven points and make it a 10 point game they also take off four and a half minutes and now we only have three and a half minutes to get back from down by 10 we're looking deep and Nick Foles just did not have the arm strength right there Monroe had Rogers beat but I guess I waited too long and the ball was underthrown by Foles, and Rodgers able to catch up, make the interception. Now the 49ers just got to run some clock. Third and five. Check out this huge tackle by Collins. So we actually get the ball back. But under 40 seconds to play, we need to start looking deep. It's fourth and 21, and Foles actually gets sacked in the end zone for his safety. 
And that's going to wrap up this ballgame. We end up losing 33-21. to 21. We do not score in the second half. Uh, in the second half, Our offense went completely silent and the defense could not pick it up for them. So that's going to do it. A 33-21 to 21 loss. I thought our defense actually played better in the second half. Coming up with a couple stops, a couple turnovers. Good to see out of Logan Ryan. Um, we are a bit of a turnover-happy defense, I would say. We don't... Uh, we're not really built on, you know, trying to stop teams on third down because we really struggle with that. But uh, really built more on making uh, making plays, forcing turnovers, and all that good stuff. So um, it was good to see Ryan get a couple interceptions. But and nonetheless, that's going to do. You can see Foles with a touchdown. Uh, he had 250 yards, but he threw a couple picks. Was not great. And you can see Blunt only 10 carries. What I was talking about earlier. You need to go back to being multiple. Um, I think, especially when we get behind, we become too one-dimensional. It's not good for the team. So that's going to do it anyway. Thanks for watching. Hope you did enjoy. And just out.